Okay, number 10, we're just going to use the Cartes rules of signs and determine the number of positive and negative real zeros. So with that rule, we took our original polynomial function and we counted the number of sign changes. So it is positive, still positive, 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 positive. The sign never changed um, from the first term until the last. So the number of positive real zeros are zero because there's no sign changes. It stayed positive the whole time. Now we're going to try to find the number of negative real zeros. So to find the number of negative real zeros, we take our function and we plug in a negative x. And then we count the number of sign changes for that one. So we're going to do 5, and then parentheses negative x to the 8th, and then plus 6, and then negative x to the 6th plus 11, negative x to the fourth, and then plus 6 times negative x squared, and then plus 11. Okay, so what you'll notice, um, we are raising all of these negative x's to an even degree, which means they're all going to re remain positive. So the same thing we're going to notice on this one is that um, there's not going to be any sign change. Okay, everything is going to stay positive um, because we're raising it to a power, uh, even power. So we end up with the same polynomial when we plug in a negative x because all our terms were even. All right, this is x squared and then plus 11. It wasn't affected. So again, no sign change. So this says that there are zero. Um, negative real zero. So that means either they're all um, imaginary um, numbers. 